Hey everyone, it's Mr. G, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what a teacher sees when they're creating a Google Classroom, and what a student sees when they're joining from a computer, or an iPhone, or an iPad. I can't show you what joining looks like using an Android device because I'm not a savage. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm sure the process is really similar, I just don't have any Android devices. One of the most important prerequisites for this is that both students and teachers should have had a G Suite for Education Google account created for them by the Google admin at their school. If you're going to use Google Classroom on an iOS device, then first you need to go to the App Store, search for Google Classroom, and then download it by hitting the Get button. That will install Google Classroom on that device. Students and teachers can access Google Classroom from their desktop, laptop, or Chromebook by going to classroom.google.com in the address bar of their browser. And then they can go to the top right where it says sign in and select Google Classroom. On the screen right now, I have two different browsers logged into two different Google accounts to show you the process for doing this. We're gonna use the left browser as the teacher view and we'll use the right browser as the student view. So to create a class as a teacher, I'm gonna hit the plus sign and select create class. Then I'm gonna name my class Biology 101. Just for this example, I'll name it that. Once I hit Create, it's gonna create the class, and then there's two ways of adding students to this class. In the first way, it's gonna be on the teacher to manually input the student email addresses. And I'll show you that process right now. So the teacher would go to People, and then under Students, right now there's absolutely no students because I haven't added anyone, I just created the class. But if I select the Invite Students button, then I can type in the student's email and invite them that way. Now the other way to invite students to your class is to share this class code with them. So you can see it on the screen right now, or I can go back to the stream and you'll see the class code right here. I could blow it up so that if my students are in class, they can see it from the back. I'm gonna show you as a student how to use this class code to join the class but I do want to recommend the other way of adding students, which is to hit the People tab. And the reason for that, when you invite those students, because you're in an organization, because you're in a school, you can start typing the students' names and you're going to see them all in there. The reason I won't do it that way in this video is because these two Google accounts are not in the same organization. So I'm going to show you the class code way of adding a class. In the student view, I'm going to hit the plus sign again, but I'm going to select Join Class. And here the student has to type in the teacher's class code. So let me make sure I type that correctly, and then the student hits join. Now in a few seconds, the student will see their class on the screen. And if I go to the teacher view, if I go right back to this, the teacher will see that there's a student that has joined their class, and that's me right there under students. So now I'm going to show you the same process using an iPhone. So the student should hit classroom, get started, and then they're going to sign into the account that they want to use. So once the student logs into their Google Classroom, they're going to hit the plus sign on the bottom right to join the class. And again, they're going to type in the class code that the teacher told them. So it's OK2FRJS. OK and when the student hits join or done, it'll automatically put them inside of that class. So just to recap, as the teacher, probably the best way to add students to your class is to invite those students, and as long as you're in the same organization, the same G Suite for Education, as you start typing in their names, you're going to see the students pop up. And that will be the lowest friction way of getting students into your class. If you found this video to be helpful, I'd appreciate it if you give this video a like, or if you know someone that has been struggling with Google Classroom and figuring stuff out, make sure to share this video with them. And if you have Twitter, feel free to tweet it out to other teachers. Also, if you're interested in learning how to code as a beginner, check out the other videos in my channel and hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.